I know the Azores is really good at laying down the law and keeping the citizens on the straight and narrow, but honestly, don't you wish just sometimes you could lower your lance and layeth the smack down? Let's assemble the Legion and go inside R&D with the Boros Guild. So the Boros Legion is the guild that embodies red and white mana. Red and white are not allied colors, they're enemies, which means that there's some interesting friction there. Red is all about action. White is all about the greater good. It's not necessarily about taking action. In some cases, white stultifies action. But the Boros marry these two values. They work for the greater good through military force. Their role is sort of an enforcement role. They are more interested in enforcing the laws and laying down smack on those who break them. In fact, if they can't find laws to enforce, yes, they will challenge Azorius' rule and they'll make some laws of their own specifically to enforce them. Six years ago, we ran a reality competition called The Great Designer Search, where we were trying to find designers. Four years later, we did The Great Designer Search 2. Uh, and the two people we hired from that were Ethan Fleischer and Sean Main, uh, both of which were heavily involved in the design of Gatecrash. Battalion was actually the one of the mechanics that Sean Main made during the competition of The Great Designer Search 2. It was called Assault when he made it, but it's now called Battalion. And basically what it is, it says, look, if I'm attacking with two other guys, I get better. And the thing I love about it as a Boros mechanic is it does what you want to do as Boros. It just says, hey, just attack with everybody. So way back at the beginning of the Great Designer Search, before I was even in the top eight, when I was in the 101 people who had to create worlds, I was playing around with this heavy token theme. I was, is this very grandiose armies fighting each other. And I was trying to come up with a way to get these players to attack each other when they've got these armies that might easily die as you're trading back and forth. And the idea that you wanted to be attacking with a certain threshold of creature, that if I attack with three guys, I'll get a bonus for doing it. So maybe sometimes you're encouraging people just to do what they want to be doing, but some of the time you're, you know, it's nice to have these little one one tokens who, but they're going to die along the way. And that was kind of the genesis of it. The trick with developing battalion is you want to have a bunch of creatures such that when they're not battalioning, the rate on them is still good enough that you want to put them in the other deck. But when they're going off, you don't want your opponent to just be bananas dead because all of your creatures are gigantic and huge. So the way we ended up doing this was to have the battalion abilities be rather than just, oh, all of my creatures are huge and you lose, to be sort of these more oblique advantages that let you accrue sort of value in different ways. Like, you know, Daring Skyjack just gets to keep attacking when you're battalioning with him because he gets flying. So you're going to have battalion again on your next turn. Bomber Core lets you get your creatures through for extra damage and, you know, prevents them from blocking. So having battalion generate value like this as opposed to just, you know, killing your opponent immediately lets you sort of continue the game and have a lot more fun with your creatures once you've actually managed to turn them on. The new guild master of the Boros Legion is the angel Aurelia, who seized power pretty aggressively. Aurelia has reorganized the Boros military strategy from the top down, uh, has divided the Legion into four theaters, each with a different purpose, and has embarked on a bunch of uh, military improvement programs that she calls the Warmind Initiative. And that includes some cooperation with guilds that the Boros aren't used to working with. Uh, it turns out that some is it guild mages are pretty good at weapon and defense design, for example. So early on Gatecrash's development, we sat down, looked at all the guild leaders, and decided which ones we liked and which ones we didn't. And the ones we didn't like, we wanted to give new abilities. So we wanted to do what we could call hole filling, where we talk to everyone on the development team and have them pitch new ideas for what the cards should do. And with Aurelia, I was thinking about what red does, what white does, what Boros wanted to do, which was attack a lot of times. And so Relentless Assault, that untap all your creatures and they can attack again, that's a perfect ability for the Guildmaster of Boros. So I get put that on Aurelia and we basically never looked back. Her numbers changed a little bit, but her ability never really changed throughout all of development. You know, as she attacks, your, all your guys can attack again. Uh, if they have Battalion, it triggers twice. So your guys that are getting plus two, plus two, now get plus two, plus two again on the second attack. And when their creatures can't block, you can make another creature not block. And she's a great Boros card and great in other decks too. So over time, creatures have become more and more important to magic. And if you're going to have better and better creatures, you've got to have a way to deal with them. And Gatecrash has uh, guilds that have some of the strongest removal traditionally. So you've got Orzhov, Black-White, 
and you've got Boros, which is red-white, which is my favorite guild. And I was constantly pushing the team to push the creature removal in the set. And um, it got to the point where I had an opportunity to submit a rare for a rare hole, and I submitted a card called Stun Ray. And this card was similar to Rolling Thunder, but it also, if you used it in small doses, would impact both players and creatures to stun them in a way. This card uh, ended up doing really well in internal playtesting, and it got promoted to Mythic Rare and it is now known as Aurelia's Fury, and if you need to get the job done when you need to kill creatures, Aurelia's Fury definitely gets the job done. One of the challenges of doing designs for the guilds is making sure that they have their own identity. So for example, in the first set, Rakdos is very aggressive. Well, in Great Crash, Boros and Gruul are very aggressive. We want to make sure we separated them. So Gruul, for example, tends to be bigger, meaning you're trying to ramp up into larger creatures, and that where Gruul shines is the bigger creatures. Boros is all about building up and maintaining and getting to the point where you have a sustained army because it's the numbers that overtake you with Boros. So we want to make sure that each one had its own flavor, but yet still was aggressive, so we had enough aggressive decks. My army, my aggression, my guild, Boros. Won't you join us?